Ooh, Roscoe's. Jaden Sancho snubs Manchester United. United! United! <laughs> he snubs them and he's staying at Dortmund and that's actually making United fans jump over the edge because this is something that no one saw coming. No one, absolutely no one, and their grandma saw this coming. I didn't think it happened, but Jaden Sancho is actually going to stay at Borussia Dortmund. God damn! God damn! I mean, there's people saying, oh, Dortmund only capitulate to Bayern. Well, <laughs> that's saltiness, isn't it? That's salty. That's the bottom of the ocean. You're licking the bottom of the ocean. Ah, yeah, that's what you're doing right now because you're just salty. I think Dortmund as a club, you can criticize how they do their business, but you can't really criticize why they do their business because they don't care. They do it. They do it. I mean, to be honest, for Dortmund, this is actually a very good move because Sancho's contract apparently expires in 2023. So he has three years left. After this season, this next season, he'll have two years of a contract, which would mean that they'd still get more money out of him, actually. If Sancho gets 20 plus goals and another 20 plus assists, like he did last season, bro, they're gonna get 150 million from him. And that's actually just not gonna be just about Man United that time. Liverpool will be like, ah, oh, I kinda see Sancho. Chelsea might be like, ah, Sancho, I like you. Madrid will be like, ah, Sancho, I like you. And even the infamous Bayern Munich might say we like Sancho. And that's just the reality. Man United are putting themselves on this pedestal like Sancho, Sancho. And, you know, there's United fans saying, well, Sancho wants to move. You don't know who Sancho is. Sancho might just actually feel like, hey, if I stay at Dortmund, it's actually not even that bad of an idea because I'm still in the UCL. I'm still in one of the best leagues in the world and I'm still gonna be around better players than I was last season, and we might have a chance of silverware. So maybe he's thinking that, and that's why he's gonna potentially stay at Dortmund. And I know United fans are annoyed and irritated that that's gonna happen, but you have to understand it from the player's perspective. It's not the end of the world for Sancho to stay at Dortmund one more year. It's actually not. I mean, look, if you look at Man United's situation, look, I just watched Man United versus Copenhagen, right? I'm watching Flex and, uh, a guy named Saeed do their fan cams. I was watching that. It's actually still playing. I'll turn it on and go back to the minute I was on before I started recording this. But Man United, tactically, you are a little bit crap. I can't lie. I don't know the shape. I don't understand the formation. I don't understand the tactics. It's very weird. I tweeted this out on my Twitter. If you want to follow that, I'll put the link in the description. But I tweeted this out. Manchester United don't look like they know what they're doing. I looked at a few games where Bruno Fernandes came off and I looked at the average positioning. It's very different and I don't know. So if Bruno Fernandes is off, it looks like you change your entire play style. You change where players are on the pitch. Also, I find it weird that Man United use this one up, one down fullback system to attack when they also drop a midfielder in between the back three. So it's very confusing. Do you not want your fullbacks to bump forward? Midfielder in between the center backs, and that's gonna create a back three, so you have your solidarity there. But then another thing I noticed was that Bruno Fernandes is playing very high. Usually you want your attacking midfielder in between the half spaces like Man City do, so they can collect the ball and try to do something. But you don't have that. So, you know, just the little things that I'm noticing, you know, my tactically no ball brain, right? Look, <laughs> my tactical brain. But Manchester United, Sancho getting another contract at Dortmund. No, I think they signed it last summer and it's just now being revealed. So you're basically negotiating for a player who has three years left on his contract. Unless Sancho goes to Dortmund and says, I want to move, which it doesn't look like he wants to do. And actually, don't blame Sancho for that. You shouldn't be expecting a player who's not unhappy at their club like that. You know, if you had a player who was like, I hate you, PSG, I hate you, I can't stand you, Neymar, then him handing in a transfer request isn't actually all that different. It makes sense in that scenario, but Sancho is someone that likes Dortmund. He likes the structure of the club. He likes his teammate. It looks like he gets on well with Royce and Haaland and all these ballers. Maybe he's thinking to himself, I want to play alongside Mukoko, right? Who's supposedly the next Lionel Messi. You know what? Don't blame Sancho for that. United fans, you can just relax. I mean, there's a lot of United fans insulting Dortmund. What if it's Manchester United just not wanting to pay 120 million? Apparently, the real problem is that United don't want to pay 120 million flat out. Today was the deadline, the 10th of August, and it's the 10th of August, pretty much over, days over today. So maybe Dortmund felt like, hey, we're not getting anywhere with this. We will keep him next season, and then next year we'll sell him. And Manchester United might be still trying to... And, and a lot of United fans are like, oh, nah, it's, it can still happen. Dortmund can just say, we're not in negotiations and Sancho doesn't want to push a move. 
So, yeah, your move, Man United. Next year, come back and we might talk. Next year, he's going to be worth 150 million. That's basically how I see the situation. For Sancho, it's not that stupid of an idea. Borussia Dortmund told Man United, all right, here's our transfer deadline. Come to us with the offer and everything we want and we'll give you the player. And people talk about personal terms agreed. Nah, that's not how personal terms works. When Fabrizio Romano says personal terms agreed, what he actually means is, Hey Sancho, you want to come to Man United? Yeah, sure man. Okay fam. Okay. Four years. Sure. That's personal terms. <laughs> like the contract isn't drafted up. A lot of things still go into it. And it looks like Manchester United may have said, okay, Sancho, we want you. Sancho said, okay, I want to come. Five-year contract, how much will I get paid? 300K a week? Okay, I'll take it. Now you got to negotiate with Dortmund. And Manchester United probably told Sancho, put in a transfer request. And Sancho probably said, I love Borussia Dortmund. They gave me my career. And they pretty much are the reason why I'm even being linked to a club like Man United at the age of 21. Let me just stay here for an extra season and I might go to an even bigger club like Real Madrid or Barcelona when they start having some money. And I might be happy there too. And Jaden Sancho, ladies and gentlemen, is just doing what a normal player should. People think he should just go. You know how weird it is to put in a transfer request at a club you're happy at? Sancho also knows Dortmund have better players than Man United too. Better defense. They're just at the same level. Same level of managers too. <laughs> Solskjaer and Lucien Favre, both crap coaches. That's coming from a Bayern fan here, so it means something, it's substance, right? Maybe Dortmund couldn't deal with the fact that Man United were trying to put in a Ballon d'Or clause, like if he wins the Ballon d'Or, you get a bonus. You know, and Borussia Dortmund doing this is good for them because other clubs are gonna start looking at it like, ah, oh, I don't wanna play with Dortmund. They'll just keep their player. And people are using tweets, old tweets, where Dortmund said, we'll keep this player, and then they ended up moving away to fit their agenda. But sometimes you have to come and bring yourself to reality. The truth of the matter is, Dortmund pretty much signaled out the date they wanted this transfer done. Dortmund want to find some different things to do. You think Dortmund have time to be constantly negotiating with Man United when they actually don't want to sell? What if Dortmund said, hey, United, Sancho, 10th of August, we want this transfer done. And if it's not done by then, we don't want to talk. We'll just keep you and we can sell you on next year. Sancho probably said, okay. That's it. So I'm glad. I'm happy. United fans in the mud. We love to see it. Jaden Sancho staying at Borussia Dortmund. Gonna excite the Bundesliga. Sancho versus Sane. That's gonna be the new, new competition right there. You know, both players, 24, actually no, one's 20, one's 24. Sancho, less experienced than Sane. We'll really see. And can Leverkusen do the same thing to Chelsea and give him the middle finger? And we hope that happens as Bayern Munich fans. But look, this is Ross Kills, so this is not a Bayern Munich fan channel. By any means, it's actually just a football fan channel. I love football, so do all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you had a fun time watching it. If you're a Man United fan, hopefully you're crying, but I do understand where you're coming from when you say, well, Dortmund, so much money, it makes sense, right? We're in the middle of a pandemic. But you have to almost see it from their perspective, and that's just how it is. But yeah, see ya, Ross Kills. <laughs>